हेलो एवरीवन देयर इज अ टॉपिक इन एप्टीट्यूड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट नाउ इन कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट व्हिच इज यूजुअली ऑलरेडी अ डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक इन एप्टीट्यूड देयर इज अ मच डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट इज बीइंग आस्क्ड फॉर एग्जांपल अ सम ऑफ मनी गेट्स डबल ट्रिपल और लेट्स से क्वाड्रुपल इन अ सर्टेन ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम सो एट व्हाट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दिस एंटायर कैलकुलेशन हैपेंड and many a time students struggle to find out the answer of this question because it requires enough of calculation and mind you we do not have calculators in competitive exams but in this video which is a very short video i will take you through a trick a trick or a rule of 72 114 and 144 which is 144 yes if you remember these three numbers 72 114 and 144 you will be able to solve the biggest of the problem that is being asked in competitive exams from compound interest you want to do that let's check it out on your screen there's a question which says i have invested rupees 100 in state bank of india and the bank has promised a return of rupees 200 after 8 years what is the rate of interest offered this looks like a very easy problem it certainly is but not when we solve it with conventional method so let's see how we should approach this problem or rather how do we do it in the conventional way and then what trick i have to offer you let's see so for those who do not know the concept or the formula for compound interest let me put it one way the amount that becomes let me change the color of the font okay now amount is equal to principal multiply by 1 plus rate of interest by 100 to the whole power t this is the case of compound interest where p is the amount invested that is principal r is rate of interest per annum t is time in years and amount which is equal to principal plus interest so in this particular question my amount is 200 rupees my principal which was invested is 100 rupees my time is given as 8 years and i have to figure out the rate of interest per annum now it looks like a simple question because out of the four variables in this formula i know three of them let's put the values here so when i put the values i get 200 is equal to 100 multiply by 1 plus now r is not known to me by 100 to the whole power 8 now so far it was a easy approach now you can see what i'm doing i'm using the conventional method or the formula to solve it further now here i'm stuck because remember you do not have calculators in the aptitude examinations now to solve 2 raised to the power of 1 by 8 i actually have no way with me so this is how my question rests now and it becomes difficult for me to solve it further to get the value of r so what will i do in the examination either i leave this question or i'll go with four options and choose one of them wherein the rule of 72 114 and 144 which we have to discuss in this particular video will help me solve such a question in a quick go let's understand what the rule is now here i can see that my principal value actually got doubled you can see my value that was 100 rupees has become 200 rupees so you know what i have a rule of 72 for such cases what is that my rate of interest multiply by my time will always be equal to 72 i repeat my rate of interest multiplied by time will always be equal to 72 in case my money is getting double so what i do here i am already known with the time here 
So what is my rate of interest? It will become 72 divided by 8 and that is equal to 9% and that's my answer. Can you believe this? Whatever we were doing in all these steps actually got solved by a single step. And actually, even I'll not need that single step. I can solve this question verbally without using pen and paper. Yes, that's how simple it is. So whenever we see that the money is getting doubled, obviously this is going to be a case of compound interest only. So whenever my money is getting doubled, I'm going to use this concept, which is rate multiplied by time is equal to 72. That's what the rule of 72 says. Let's take one more question and understand it better. Now this time, I'm only talking about the keywords. What are those? My principal value, that is my investment, is rupees 250. My return, which means my amount is equal to 750. My time is given as 19 years. And I need to figure out the rate of interest. Now again, if I go by the formula, I just want to compare both the ways so that you can understand the importance of this concept in a much better way. I have this formula. So I put the value 750 is equal to 250. That's my principal value. One plus, I do not know the rate of interest. And remember this time my time is 19. So the power is 19. Now what I can do best is I can do this. Three is equal to one plus R by 100. And even if I can put 1 by 19 as the power. Now what I do from here? Almost nothing. Almost nothing. So what do I do now with the rule that we are discussing in this video? I see that this value is getting tripled. This time it is not double. It is getting tripled. So my value is getting tripled. So what will I use? I will be using rate multiply by time is equal to 114. Now, have you observed that these formulas are actually independent of the values that we are using here? That is the principal and amount. What it depends upon is that whether my value is getting double, it is getting triple or quadruple in the next question. So accordingly, I'll be using a number that is 72, 114 or 114. That's it. So let's see if I put time as 19 over here, what do I get? Rate is equal to 114 divided by 19. And what is my rate of interest now? Can you imagine we get the answer in a quick go? 6% my dear friend, just 6%. So how much time will we take to solve such a question? Barely few seconds. Verbally, we can solve this question. Let's take one more. Now this time, I'm not going to even use the conventional method. I'm just going to check what is happening in the question. My principal value is 500 rupees. My amount is 2000 rupees. And my time is 12 years. Now by now, everyone will be in a position to solve it. We have to calculate the rate of interest. Just by looking at this, I just need to check what is happening. It has become four times, which means it has gone quadruple. It has gone multiplied by four times. So what do I do? Rate of interest multiplied by time. And this time my value is, or in fact, it should be 144. So 144 is equal to rate multiplied by time, wherein my rate becomes 144 divided by given time, which is 12. And what do I get? 12%. That's my answer. So simple. So one confirmed question that we get from compound interest can be actually solved in few seconds. Now, what if I change my question to a different one? For example, over here, I know the principal, which is 5,600. I know the amount, which is 16800. And I can see that it is getting triple. And this time, instead of time in years, I know the rate of interest, 
but I need to figure out the time. So what? I know the concept which is rate multiplied by time is equal to since it is triple I am going to use 114 and as I know the rate of interest this time so my 114 divided by 6 should give me my answer that's it I got my answer such an easy approach I hope everyone is liking this concept let's take few more now I will directly use it. So principal is equal to 600, amount is equal to 1200, which means it has got doubled. What is my rate of interest? It given as it's given as 12%, and I have to calculate the time in which this is achieved. So rate multiply by time. Since it is getting doubled, it has to be 72. Now I have to calculate time, which is equal to 72 divided by 12%. That gives me six years as my answer. So good. Take one more. This time my principal is 450. My amount is 1800. And obviously I can see that it has become four times. My rate of interest is 24%. And what do I need to calculate? The time. So R multiplied by T is equal to, remember, it's getting four times. So it has to be 144. My time becomes 144 divided by my rate of interest. That's 24. So when I cancel this off, I can do it in my way. So 12 and then I get six. So six years is my answer once again. How cool is that? We can solve a question which was supposed to be left out while we attempt an aptitude exam without calculators is now done in less than 10 seconds and that too without using pen and paper. That's just one of those tricks guys. We have many more things to come. I hope you would love the videos. I would request you to remember these values while you solve it. It's just three key numbers 72, 114 and 144. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from Upgrad.